Hey guys, welcome back to the Chinese Zodiac and Horoscopes. We are going to be doing a reading today for all you guys born in the year of the ox. So let's see how you guys have been and what you guys have been up to. I'm just going to shuffle these up, move them around a little bit. And stop when it feels about right. Let's, let's stop. There, let's take that one from the bottom, let's take that one from the middle, let's take this one from the top. What have we got? Okay, so we've got three black cards. Not great, doesn't look good, does it? But as I've always said before, black isn't always an attack. It's just right now there's some negative energy around you. Right now the atmosphere is a little bit bleak. Right now you're probably very aware of what is happening, but as I've always said before, it's about the compatibility on the other side of these cards. We have got the rabbit card. Okay, so that's not exactly the worst card that you could have, but it is a catalyst card. So there is change here. If you want to know more about the catalyst cards, hit the subscribe button because we will be doing videos on that in the future. But this is a this is a sure sign that you have become more reserved, you become more more sort of shy and timid than you usually would be. I think right now you're kind of focusing on work you're trying to focus on something and when i say work maybe not like in a job or you know within a career but just keeping yourself busy you know keeping yourself busy and doing things to occupy your mind because right now you're overthinking things right now there's a lot to think about the rabbit is a catalyst card that comes in quickly it's like ripping off a band-aid so it will go through quite quickly and change quite quickly you know you'll get you'll get through this it's not like i say the worst card that you can get but right now, I think as well, what you need to what you need to remember is that your approach to things aren't always the most desired. You're a very Spartan outlook on life. You're very kind of to the point, very blunt, very kind of this is how we're going to do things. This is how things should be done, um, and you're by the book, and that's how you succeed, and that is how you you know get stuff done, and why you and why you are a favorite when it comes to you know having you on a team of people that need to get work done that other people would otherwise say do you know what i'm too I, i'm too good for this or um potentially they're just too lazy for this you aren't you're not shy of hard work and that's why i think you're probably as these changes start to make you uncomfortable all these changes start to happen you're potentially looking at burying your head in the sand a little bit or or sticking it in the books or you know just into tinkering and, and just keeping yourself busy because i think you know the way you do things it's kind of it, it. It's not. It's not the wrong way of doing things, but potentially it, it's just taking things a little bit. It's taking things a little bit on a on a different, different direction or in a different direction. Maybe it's something that you didn't expect. Maybe that maybe you've done something, said something, you've been involved in doing something or something, and it just something's happened within that. And now you don't know what you didn't expect that. So now you don't know what to do about it. And that change has happened really quickly. So you're a little bit like, oh, okay, so what do I do? And because you're quite by the book and there isn't a book there to give you instruction, you're kind of like, well, where's the instruction manual? Now you've got to work it out yourself, which means thinking about it. It means thinking about it. And there we are. There you are tinkering away. That monkey, you're tinkering away for your own sake because obviously that monkey there is that uh, card of. Um, Self-care, selfishness in a way. Um, and when I say selfishness, it's not a bad thing. You're looking after yourself, you know, putting yourself first. And, it, and, and it's okay to be selfish sometimes. You are looking out for you. Self-care is important. So you are looking out for yourself and that's why you're doing what you do. The monkey card is also that doer card. So you're tinkering. You're tinkering away and you are basically um, keeping yourself busy to occupy that mind of yours. Because you are from the thinker triangle. And that triangle of thinkers makes it sometimes a little bit hard for you because you have to think about it and you do think about it and you think hard about it and you, you don't, don't necessarily stop thinking about stuff. At least when you're keeping busy, you can think about the stuff that you're keeping busy with, like a distraction. And you're doing this for self-preservation. Because there's that monkey there in that, in that sort of, you have to look after, your, you look after yourself in that self-care kind of way. And that could take a while, you know, the change may have came in really quickly, but, you know, you may have had to, you may have found that you've had to slow yourself right down in order to actually, uh, in order to actually start feeling better. Because if things happen too quickly and you don't know where you stand, rushing around and being impulsive and, 
and you know making things worse like a bull in a china shop is definitely not the way to go forward so now you have to think about your next step you need to think about what's going to happen next and that's okay you can take your time because you're a good thinker you're good at it and you should you should think about it and and thinking about it means that you can you can do it right the first time and you don't have to worry about coming back here and and correcting mistakes so take your time to think about it take your time to to figure this out i think right now there's a bit of distrust in yourself you don't trust yourself enough right now so you, that's where you need to kind of figure out your own confidence your own self-esteem you need to work on that and, and bring yourself back up and prove to yourself that you can do it. And OK, yeah, it may take a while and it may kind of, you know, be be a, a waiting game. But from planting the planting the seed to picking the fruit, there is a time scale. There is a time scale to everything. So you have to be wise enough to know that when you plant that seed, there is going to be there is going to be a time frame. So when there is a change and that seed is planted like a catalyst, that change needs time to grow and to grow into to come into fruition. And there we are. There's that ox card slowing you down, thinking you thinking like you think, being you, you know, and that's what it, that's what it's basically saying. Now, you need to remember who you are. You need to remember that it's OK to be slow. It's OK to take your time. It's OK to think things over and think things through. It's okay to do that. I mean, don't do it at the expense of yourself where you're exhausting yourself, but you're an ox person. So you're you're kind of designed to think. It's how your brain works. The doers, the doers, they are built to do. They can literally switch their brains off, not think about stuff, and they just do it. They are the doer triangle. The catalyst cards, they're the creative ones. They're just naturally creative. They're talented that way. They're the painters, they're the singers. You put a brush in their hand, they will paint. You put a guitar in their hand, they will play. And that's that's just, you know, one of their common traits. But the ox, the ox, they are a thinker. You think things through. And it's equally as important. They all come together in one way and they work in such great harmony when you get the compatibilities lined up. And you have thinkers and doers and the creative people and, and all of them all together and things start to happen and you get a really good team of pe like people and stuff because they know what they're good at and they go on and do it. And one thing that you are good at as a ox person is thinking things through. So you need to commit yourself to working this out. Don't just get yourself into like a, a sort of pity party or, you know, dwell on it and stuff. Don't start to become stagnant. Don't start to get stuck. What you need to do is be a little bit more forceful with yourself and say, right, I can do that. And you'll be good at this because you can give yourself that discipline. You can say, right, what I need to do is this. I'm going to get this done. And that's how I'm going to proceed with this. And once you start making a plan of action and you start to trudge forward, you will start to overcome these hurdles. You will start to push through this. And I think you're very much aware of that because that's why you're going to become into this position here where these two cards, despite the catalyst here. So we've got this catalyst. And that catalyst card is basically bringing in this change really, really quickly. Like, whoosh, there it is. Um, and then what we've got here is you picking up the pieces of that change and dealing with that. So this monkey card here is the doer, the doer of uh, getting things done, tinkering, getting, you know, getting the mess cleared up and trying to put it back together to fix it, fix what is broken, you know. And, and what is broken at the moment, that negative monkey, is potentially you and where you are and what you're, you know, where you're standing and what you're doing but there you are as well the ox is an ox person so you're getting through this the only way you know how which is as an ox which is the best course of action and we'll find out how you get on with that next week when we come back and do another reading for you guys we'll be back tomorrow for the um who is it tomorrow the tigers and the rabbits so if i don't see you then i'll see you next week when we come back and do another one for you guys thanks for watching Love and peace.